On March 10, 2012, the owner of one of the heaviest punches in the history of kickboxing finished his career. We are talking about the finalist of the K1 Grand Prix and six-time world champion in Thai boxing, Ray Sefo, who sent the best fighters from all over the world to the hardest knockouts. With a height of only 180 centimeters, Sefo managed to knock down Semi Schilt himself, who, for a second, is a four-time K1 Grand Prix champion. And although Sefo never won the K1 Grand Prix champion belt, he surprised the audience more than once with the heaviest knockouts over the most dangerous opponents, which we will tell you about in this video. Make tea, sit back and get ready to watch the video with the five best knockouts from Ray Sefo. On April 29, 1997, Ray Sefo fought with the best kickboxer from France, Jerome Le Banner, who is famous for his aggressive fighting style and great knockout force. Taking the center of the ring, Jerome pushed Ray Sefo to the ropes, trying to crush the fighter from New Zealand with a series of powerful blows. Sefo, who was slowly studying his opponent, constantly adjusted his shorts, which prevented him from concentrating on the fight itself. A minute and a half after the start of the fight, Sefo once again adjusted his shorts, after which he immediately found himself knocked down after a missed hook to the head. Standing under the referee's countdown, Sefo immediately returned the debt to his opponent from France, knocking him out with an accurate right hook to the chin, after which Jerome sprawled in the ring like origami. The doctors immediately began to revive Jerome Le Banner, who had received a jaw fracture in four places. Well, Sefo, who modestly celebrated the victory with his coach, declared himself to the whole world as a fighter with whom you need to be on the alert until the last second of the fight. On March 17, 2001, Ray Sefo fought the Canadian fighter Michael McDonald, nicknamed Black Sniper, known for being the third and last person who was able to knock out Mirko Krokop in fight according to the rules of K1. After defeating Nicholas Pedas, Michael was organized a fight against Ray Sefo, which lasted for the Black Sniper less than the exit to the fight. Despite his powerful musculature and impressive appearance, Michael could not inflict any damage to Ray Sefo, who took all the blows from his opponent with a smile. In the second minute of the fight, Michael missed a trademark right hook from Ray Sefo, and once on the ring floor, looked at the referee with confused eyes. The referee immediately stopped the fight, and Sefo again demonstrated to the whole world the crushing power of his right hook. On December 31, 2004, Ray Sefo fought one of the most charismatic fighters of that time, Gary Goodridge, who before joining martial arts was one of the best arm wrestlers in the world. In honor of the upcoming new year, the organizers of K1 decided to give their viewers a festive festival of martial arts, showing them a fight with Gary Goodridge, who was never afraid to get involved in a heavy exchange of blows, versus Ray Sefo, who was always happy to accept this heavy exchange of blows to knock out his opponent with his precise right hook. From the first seconds of the fight, Gary rushed at his opponent with a hail of sweeping blows, as a result of which he was knocked down already at the ninth second of the fight. Getting to his feet under the referee's countdown, Gary again misses a new batch of punches, the last two of which ended this fight. A right uppercut and a left side kick put an end to this quick confrontation, after which Sefo took his cup and left with his team to celebrate the new year. Well, Gary, having become stronger after such an annoying defeat, won the K-1 World Grand Prix 2005 tournament in Hawaii, knocking out all three rivals in one evening. On June 3, 2006, Ray Sefo had a fight with Ruslan Karaev, with whom he had already fought in 2005. Then Ruslan was a very young and inexperienced fighter, who in his first professional fight was thrown under the finalist of the K-1 Grand Prix 2000. Sefo sent young Ruslan Karaev to a technical knockdown in the first round, after which the referee immediately stopped the fight to protect the Russian fighter from serious injuries. Two months after his unsuccessful debut, Ruslan won a brilliant victory at the K-1 World Grand Prix 2005 qualifying tournament in Las Vegas, earning the right to a second fight against Ray Sefo. Sefo, who ate all the attacks from a younger and faster opponent, sent Ruslan into a severe knockout with his trademark right hook after which the Russian fighter could not be lifted to his feet for a long time.
On December 2, 2006, Ray Sefo had a fight with one of the most intimidating knockout fighters in the history of kickboxing. We are talking about Melvin Monhof, who is known to us for victories with crushing knockouts over such fighters as Ruslan Karayev. <laughs> Руслан, Руслан. Пол Славинский. Рамазан Рамазанов и многие другие фейтеры. It seemed that Ray Sefo was going to have a tough fight against a very dangerous fighter, fully justifying his nickname No Mercy in battles. But in fact, Ray Sefo, who entered the fight with devilish calm, knocked out the merciless Monhof already at the 30th second of the fight. You have watched the five best knockouts from Ray Sefo who has undoubtedly gone down in history as one of the best K1 fighters. If you like this video, then like and subscribe to the channel. Good luck!